In this Skycat tutorial, you're going to learn about classes. But what exactly are classes? Classes are types of components, for example, breakers, motors, overloads, contactors, transformers, etc. In a project, you may have a hundred motors of different sizes, types, speeds, and part numbers. But nonetheless, they all belong to the class of motors. In Skycad, all components belong to a class. Skycad is very customizable, so it's possible to modify classes to your liking. You can even create entirely new classes for those very special components that wouldn't fall under any of the existing classes. Modifying and creating classes is what we'll be addressing in this tutorial. Let's look at an example by adding a motor to our drawing. I'll just add an entire motor starter. For this example, I want to have a list of the components in the tree view. So I'll select the project, click on the Show tab, then select Components. We can see that in the tree view, the tag for the motor is displayed, MTR1, and a small motor icon is displayed next to the tag. If we expand the component, we can see all its properties. Even if we assign a part number from the catalog to a motor, the list of properties will remain the same. But what if we think a property is missing from the list? Or we want to change one of the properties. For example, I'd like to add frequency to the list of properties for motors. This is how you would do it. Click on the Catalog Tools tab, then select Open Catalog Class, since we're going to edit an existing class. A window will pop up, displaying all the classes that currently exist in SkyCAD. Let's select Motor, then click OK. We have now opened the motor class. Any changes we make here will affect all motors in SkyCAD. Let's explore this page a bit before adding frequency to the list of properties. At the top, we have the name of the class. Below that is the description where you can add an optional note about the class. And below that is the root. In this case, the root is MTR, which is why you see MTR in the motor tag. The default root for contactors is C, and for circuit breakers is CB. You'll also notice small motor icons. This is the same icon that we see in the component list in the tree view. We can change this icon by selecting the Fine Class icon. We can choose any icon that already exists in SkyCAD, or we can choose any image from our computer. I'm not going to change the icon, so I'll just close this window. Here we have the list of properties for all motors. Notice that the list of properties is identical to the list in the tree view. Let's look at the four different columns and what they mean. The name column is quite straightforward. This column exists so that you can change the name of a property if you want to. Type. This refers to the type of information a property holds. There are many to choose from. Boolean displays a checkbox for that property. Date allows you to select a date by double clicking in that property box. Most of the time, text will be the type that you'll need. This simply allows you to enter text in the property box. The next column is list type. Here there are three options, none, proposed and forced. None allows you to enter whatever text you want in the property box like I just did by entering 3000 RPM for the speed. For Proposed, let's look at the Manufacturer property as an example, because it's already set to Proposed. If Proposed is selected, a drop-down menu appears in that property, where you can select one of the options listed in the fourth column. These are only proposed options though, 
You can write something else in the property box if you wish. The final list type is forced. This means that you are forced to choose one of the options in the fourth column. Let's look at the type property as an example. The list type is set to forced and the options in the list are AC and DC. This makes sense because a motor can only be AC or DC, it can't be anything else. Because list type is set to forced, you can't enter your own text into the property box. You must choose one of the options. The final column is the list column which we've already spoken about. Let's set the list type on speed to proposed and enter some common speeds in the list. To enter the next option, hit shift and enter. Now let's add a new property to the list of properties for motors, frequency. From the ribbon, select Create Property Definition. Enter a name for it. Let's make it a forced list type and enter 50Hz and 60Hz in the list column. Properties for a class can also be rearranged by clicking and dragging. As I said earlier, whatever changes we make here will affect all motors. Now I'm going to insert a new motor starter onto the schematics. If we explore the new motor, we can see that frequency has been added along with all the other changes. And that's how to modify an existing class. Let's minimize these properties and close this tab for now. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that it's possible to create a new class. This is for when you want to create a new component, but it wouldn't fall under any of the existing classes. For example, in this tab, I've drawn a symbol that I want to add to my SkyCat component catalog. In this case, it's an ammeter. We can view all the existing classes by selecting Open Catalog Class. Notice that an ammeter is not here yet. So I'll create a new class for ammeters. Let's close this window and select Create Component Class. Name the class. I'll call it ammeters. The new class is created and the page is displayed where you can now define the properties of this new class. Let's add an icon by selecting Define Class Icon from the ribbon. I've prepared one already and saved it to my computer. Any image file can be used, such as JPEG, PNG, BMP, etc. I'll select it and click OK. We can see the icon has changed. Let's define a root. This is the tag a component will naturally adopt when you add it to a drawing. Remember that for motors, the default root is MTR. So for ammeters, I'll call it A. The first ammeter I add to my project will be A1, the second A2, and so on. Have a look at the properties and see if you'd like to add any that would be relevant to the new class. For an ammeter, I should add properties such as size, voltage, current and scale. Let's click Create Property Definition. Let's start with size. It would be a text type. Let's make it a proposed list of the common ammeter sizes. Now let's add a voltage property. It will also be a text type. 
In my company, we only use 220 volt AC ammeters. So I'll set the list type to forced and enter 220 volt AC into the list column. And like that, you can go ahead and enter all the major properties relevant to your new class. Now that I've finished creating my new class, I can add an ammeter symbol to the library for later use. If you've watched the tutorial on creating symbols, this may look familiar to you. Click and drag to select. Click on the drawing tab. Then select create graphical block. Define an insertion point. Now we are asked to define which class this new symbol should belong to. Of course, we're going to select the new class we just created. First, you'll notice that the ammeter has been labeled A1 and added to the list of components in the tree view. To finalize the symbol and add it to your library for future use, refer to the Creating Symbols tutorial. If we explore the ammeter, we'll see that it has all the properties exactly how we defined them when we created the class for ammeters. If you'd like to modify the class properties, just click on the Catalog Tools tab and select Open Catalog Class. Choose the class from the list, click OK, and start modifying. All changes you make will be immediate. I'll change Current to a Proposed List Type and add 1 Amp to the List column. As you may have been wondering, it is possible to edit the list of manufacturers. You may have noticed that the manufacturers list in the class settings view is grayed out, which means you can't edit it directly in this view. To edit the manufacturers list, select Edit Manufacturers List. Double click in the Values box. To enter a new manufacturer in the list, hit Shift Enter, then start typing. The new list of manufacturers takes effect immediately, all throughout SkyCAD.